We have breaking news. We have breaking news. We have a serious situation developing on the space station uh, in space right now. The cooling pump, one of the cooling pumps has failed on the International Space Station. I repeat, one of the cooling pumps has failed on the International Space Station and an emergency spacewalk may be needed. Let me go quickly right now to an update to help you uh, to get a feel for what's going on here. Well, what we know is that one of the two pumps on the station that actually cools the International Space Station has failed. Now, I also want you to know that uh, we also found out that uh, the situation is uh, not dire, but it's not good. Let me let me uh, play it on. Fine, but they've had to transfer a lot of the load over to the second pump, so it, they've had to shut down the non-critical systems on three of the modules uh, on board the International Space Station. They're still troubleshooting the problem. Uh, it certainly could mean that at some point they'll have to do an emergency spacewalk. They do have spare pumps that they can uh, install a new one, but that would, of course, require a spacewalk because the pumps are located outside the International Space Station. So uh, NASA has scaled back the, the operations on the International Space Station uh, after sc discovering the problem with the cooling system. The, uh, and they've shut down three of the compartments. The pump on the, one of the station's two external cooling Loops has shut down after hitting a temperature limit, according to NASA. Now, teams have worked to get the cooling loop back up and running, but NASA said the experts suspect a malfunctioning valve may be the cause of the problem, but they still are trying to figure out how to fix it. The station and crew aboard the space station, according to NASA, is not in immediate danger, but... Obviously, when you have two cooling systems and one down, it's not a good thing. Uh, the external cooling loop systems that circulate ammonia outside the station to keep the equipment cool. So without keeping the equipment cool, the entire life support system of the space station could shut down if the um, outside pumps don't keep working and one has stopped. So this may require an emergency spacewalk by the crew, we're going to continue to monitor this. What's really strange about this story is that BP Earthwatch, Jesse Waltman, earlier today did a video about the space station and how NASA had made the comment that God himself couldn't knock the space station out of the sky. It's that secure. Are you serious? Don't uh, and he said you guys better be very careful about making statements like that. I'd like to get the exact quote. I don't have the exact quote in front of me. I will look for that. Now, again, pray for all six members of the crew in the space station. Pray for all six of them there. One cooling pump is down. The other, the other one is working. They had to just shut down some of the compartments, all the non-essential stuff. Uh, to take the load off of the pressure off uh, the one that is operating, but they may have to do an emergency walk to try to repair the outside cooling pump of the uh, International Space Station. Now, this space station, the current mission of the space station, officially called the Expedi Expedition 38, is scheduled to remain up there or the remainder on schedule until March of 2014, just before the first blood moon on the Jewish feast day of Passover on April the 15th, 2014. Now, this six-person crew consists of NASA astronauts Mike Hopkins, Rick Mazzarino of the United States, also Russians Mikhail Tyrun, Sergei Rananowski and Olga Olgi Kotova and Kolushi Watara of Japan. I'm not going to say their names more than once. It would be dangerous. Uh, pray for all six of these that are on the 
International Space Station, again, breaking news. We'll continue to monitor it through the night. Now remember, we had a massive, uh, a huge explosion of a meteorite over Tucson, Arizona last night, and we're entering into a very high meteor shower, if not meteor storm, in the next two to three days. And we want to keep a close eye on that, as well as the Comet Ison, those huge, dark, giant uh, rocks that are still sailing through space at 3 million miles a day uh, that is a little off track. We're going to get a full explanation of all of this tomorrow on my live show, which starts from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. Don't miss it. 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. We will uh, My live broadcast, uh, my guest will be Jesse Waltman. He was scheduled already for a week. And uh, he, he will be our guest tomorrow live to update us on the Comet Ison's progress. It's a little off course. What does that mean? The tail is widening out. What does that mean? The debris trail is 14 million miles. What does that mean since the Earth has to pass through the trail January 12th through the 19th? Also, this Gemini meteor shower, if not meteor storm that the Earth is under right now, does that have any significant danger to the space station or anything else? And what about the coolant system? What is the technical understanding of all of this? And we will monitor this. He'll be our guest tomorrow. And how does all of this rela re uh, have any correlation at all with the Bible and the current end time biblical prophecies that we read in the Bible? We will find out about that as well. God bless you. Keep praying for the space station, the International Space Station, breaking news. God bless you, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Lord, we will come on live anytime tonight if there's a significant uh, um, breakthrough or situation developing with the International Space Station. God bless.